All right, guys, guess where we're at? The homie Daniels. We haven't been to Daniels in whew, quite a while. I haven't seen Daniel in forever, but. Now you gotta bring the light walk. I had gloves on and everything. No, nah, nice gloves though. What's up? How's it going? Good, how are you? Chilling, chilling. It's been a minute. Daniel doesn't invite me anymore. We he got has, a new family. He has everybody come through. He was out for adoption again. You know, I told him, hey, you're good here. <laughs> Bro, I haven't seen you in like a long time. I know. I know. It's been a minute. Over a month. Though, For sure, over a month. We got the homie Brian's car. Yeah, Brian's car. What's up, Brian? What's going on? What are you guys doing? Um, just, car meet? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just uh, <laughs> stopping uh, over a few uh, parts. A few parts inside on on the door panel. So. Nice. Yeah, more carbon. More carbon. That's right. <laughs> Damn. Is the M4 going for a swim or what? What the hell? <laughs> Bro. Imagine nobody was guiding you. <laughs> Got the homie Brian's beautiful Melbourne Red E92 M3. Super, super clean. One of my favorite E92s out there. Are you vlogging, Daniel? Uh, no, not right now. I was trying to get oh. that video on because I just did a, a, the unboxing of all my... All your stuff from my ND? Yeah. Jeez, can we take a peek? Look yeah. at that. Dang. That is crazy. Holy shit, bro. Holy sh Dude. That is crazy. Damn, this is a nice cover though. Damn, look at that, guys. Evan Terry. So Daniel got a bunch of parts for his G80, guys, as you guys just saw. He probably, he got like so much. I don't even know what he got, to be honest. All I know is I saw that little engine bay cover and carbon fiber. But yeah, guys, one of the sickest G80s out there. Individual paint with the end performance exhaust center exhaust which to me i believe really really makes this car and makes it stand out so much is that it has this specific option and his m4 of course will always be beautiful and his baby looks really really good let me see your seats hey look at that guys All Alcantara with the BMW M Performance embedded on the headrest with the red stitching. All the carbon back there. Absolutely beautiful. With the M3 floor mats matching with the red pinstripe. The attention to detail on this car is beautiful. Look at that. M3 GTS door sills. Very nice. Wow. This is what I want to do to the M4, guys. You see all the bolts, how they're color matching on the car. Dude, this is sick. Look at all the carbon here, the carbon here carbon this is matching the car got the black and red theme going on look at these caps and red beautiful engine bay seriously this is so sick hey guys so we came to daniel's today because i needed to pick up a frameless mount by the way if you guys need a frameless mount hit up daniel he's got a full set hit him up and uh, pick yourself up a set but today we're going to be putting on this bmw m4 gts original license plate tag and uh, we're going to end up replacing this plate and we're gonna put that back there. Just in case you guys didn't know, I drive a GTS. <laughs> but I've been looking for this plate for the longest time, guys. I've looked like all over eBay, online, and I actually came across a website in French and they actually had this plate. So I bought two of them and unfortunately, a few weeks later, they emailed me saying that they were sold out. So I went on Facebook and I'm on this like GTS page for like discussions and like any questions. So I was like, you know what? I'll give it a shot. I posted if anybody knew where I could pick up a plate like this. And one guy recommended a website from eBay, but it was in German. So everything was like in German language and I had no idea what I was doing, but I kind of put the pieces together of how I would order on a normal eBay website in English and kind of just put everything together, filled out my information and purchased the plate. And today it came in. So we're at Daniel's today and we're going to be putting on the frameless mount on this and we'll be rocking this plate now. All right, guys. So Daniel is the master at doing this. So he's going to slap this on perfectly make sure it's aligned perfectly no pressure though you know <laughs> <laughs> you know it, it, that's when i thrive i thrive under pressure most people crack under pressure damn you get car parts delivered to your house every day all right guys there it is guys i have been dreaming to have this plate on this car this goes perfect with it like the bmw and performance one is sick but this one just complements the car because it's an m4 gts when you i think when you even buy the gts like in germany they come with this plate, like as the, dis the display model. Now it's on my M4 GTS and I absolutely love it. So big shout out to Daniel for getting this on and centered perfectly. It looks so freaking good. I am happy. Sheesh. Ooh. Gotta love the 92s man. It just sounds so freaking good. 
any exhaust you put on this car, guys, is gonna sound freaking amazing. So guys, you don't even need the key to start the car. You can actually you have a little card with you. And it's crazy, you can remote start this car. You can do like, the, the, the technology in this car is insane, guys. Like, this is what I love about the newer M cars and newer cars that are just coming out. So much technology that we don't need a freaking key to start the car. You don't even need to carry the key with you. You can have a little card and it has the M logo and you can start the car like with just that. It's insane. But right now we're gonna go get some lunch. We're gonna all go in Daniel's G80 M3. We're gonna go get some food. We're all hungry. And uh, we're gonna see how this car performs. He did his break-in service already. He passed 1,200 miles. So I know he's been driving this thing a lot. Look at this color, guys. Beautiful. I don't even think he's had people in his car yet. <laughs> I think we're gonna be the first ones to be in it. Especially in the back seat. Beautiful. You sure? You don't wanna go in the front? Our Uber's here. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Guys, these seats are, wow, crazy. All right, guys, very comfortable with these seats. I feel like I'm not gonna go anywhere. No, you, you literally feel it. like you're in place. It, it is, it, you really are more. And then the seat belt, the, the little locking action that it yeah. does, it just really holds you down. The screen. So you already did your braking service, huh? Yeah. You're past 1200. Oh yeah, yeah. I think the last time I saw you was when we went to NorCal. Then For sure that, that was a month. <laughs> Yeah, I had to do the break-in period, then right. I went to Vegas, and then I came back from Vegas, and then I went to Costa Rica. Oh, yeah, that's then right. I, yeah, then yeah. I, I was here for a week, and then I went back to Vegas. Damn, man, you've just been living it up. You see how quick that was with the all-wheel drive? That is insane. And you can switch from all-wheel drive to rear-wheel drive, right? Yeah. Damn. Yeah. But I, f I feel like all-wheel drive is like the best. Right now it really to have, is. Yeah. Especially with the weather, you know, yeah. the rain too. Just with the F80s, I really feel like, it, you know, you're going to break the, the tires in the back yeah. a lot faster. But with For this sure. one, man, you just catapult it forward. If you guys didn't know, this is actually from the Lamborghini Huracans. If you look at the interior of the Huracan, the handles, they have the same exact. It's insane. Guys, the car just looks. <laughs> you saw the cop. <laughs> and compared to the M4, how do you like this one? Or do you feel more comfortable in the M4? Do you feel more comfortable in this one? Or they're just two totally different? They're different cars. I mean, you know, this was the, the automatic, the eight speed automatic. So it, it delivers the power differently than the, than the six speed manual. Yeah. I feel like the six-speed manual will always be a little bit more fun because, you know, it's rear-wheel drive. You can break the tires loose quicker. Yeah, that's true. And um, just the manual transmission is always more fun in my own personal opinion. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, so with the exhaust, you can definitely hear it more. It's got that end performance. Titanium, of course, right? Yeah. yeah. And I'm sure you're going to go down pipes too and all that stuff eventually later. Yeah, yeah, that, that's <laughs> the plan. But, you know, with everything being so sensitive right now, you know, a lot of people getting flagged. Yeah. But, it's kind of hard to tune these now, huh? It really is. Yeah. I feel like, you know, you're starting off like good with all the cosmetics, getting all the carbon dialed in and all that stuff. So, but if you guys want to check out more of Daniel's build on his G80 and his M4, link will be in the description box below. You guys can subscribe to his channel, follow him on Instagram. It'll be right here on the screen. Thank you. And uh, yeah, give him a follow, subscribe to his channel, check out what he's got for his future plan build on this G80. And uh, you guys won't be disappointed. Yeah, yeah, guys. Um, got more some more content coming out. So Sick. thanks, Kevin. Appreciate cool. it. So this exact plate, I also have it on the E92. This BMW M3 one. It's very, very clean. Ooh, gotta be careful. Got low cars over here. <laughs> Dude, Ryan's E92 M3 looks so freaking good. Probably one of my favorite E92 M3s out there. Just looks so good. Look at those headlights. BBS wheels, big brake kit, all the carbon looks beautiful. All right, guys, we're here at the Wires Only and TBT FW's private car collection. Today, we're gonna be shooting this beautiful Rolls Royce black badge. As you can see, you got the baby blue interior looking like Powerade out here. Shit's fire. We're gonna shoot that burnout gray Cullinan black badge as well. So, should be a fun day. All right, guys, it is now nighttime. We are in the Cullinan 
and we got another Cullen in. We're gonna go on a photo shoot. We were supposed to shoot these cars earlier, but unfortunately, some stuff came up. So, but now we're doing a night shoot. We're gonna pass by Rodeo, and now we're gonna shoot at another location. And yeah, we're gonna get some nice shots. These are the Cullen in Rolls Royce Cullen in's black badge. So it's like the highest spec you can get from Rolls Royce out of the SUV. And this one has like that blue interior, and it's got the stars in the roof. Very very nice. Look at the details, guys of this interior. Look at that black badge. The floor mats, they're like carpet. It's like they're fluffy, it's insane. Look at all the details of this car. It's insane. And this one, it's called Burnout Gray. It's like a Nardo Gray. And this one has the white interior. Stars in the roof, of course. This is also a black badge. All right, guys, so we use this background here and now we have this background here with the two cars. It looks so freaking sick. Guys, this car gets so much attention. So many people just come up to you and ask you, what do you do for a living? How do you have these kind of cars? It's insane, but they both look so freaking good. Especially with like all the colors up here, it's sick. Alrighty guys, that is it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and like button, turn on the post notifications, follow me on Instagram, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Take care, peace.